about to leave already packing come with me i'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know about to see the world in action what we can be life with no distractions hey guys you know i picked up the camera and thought let me start a vlog here. We're gonna go back to Joanne Fabric to pick out some fabric to line. If you guys are familiar with RV toy haulers, the garage portion has like the two bunk beds, the top bunk, and then the two chairs on the bottom, they become a bunk. Don't mind the kids in the background, they're so loud. But the top bunk has like this fabric over it and that's where the fire was, so it's like stinks, so we gotta take it off. We gotta reupholster it. Went to Joanne's, so there's nothing that wide that we liked, but we might just put two together, have my mom seam it and call it a day. So loud you guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thought I would do that, take you along, because we have not done an update on this RV in a hot minute. And there's a few things that have taken place. Tomorrow my light is gonna come in for the kitchen island light and maybe do like an updated vlog of what we are doing so far. So I thought I'd take you guys along. Probably see you guys in the store. <laughs> Back at Joanne's to find some fabrics. Line, you don't really know what you're getting until you get it. I know, it's always a better looking person, but... Like, look at the thickness. And... So like this one. It's kind of... That's not gonna work. What do you mean? Actually, no, that would work. It will, but... Chanel. Dark. I love this kind of fabric. I like this. For like a pillow. <laughs> Every time I come here, I can think of all these different uses for fabrics other than for what we actually need it for. <laughs> How about this, Aviana? Well, we are at Hobby Lobby now. Decided to stop by here and they actually have like better prices. Like half the price of the other, of Joann's, even with the coupons. Right. So this is the one that we picked out. It's like a denim fabric. I don't know if it's wanting to focus. There you go, you can kind of see the texture. It's just like a white. I'm trying to wait for somebody to see how much, if they have enough, because we found these two rolls here and we need about 15 yards or so. Hey guys, so it is the next day we did end up buying that fabric that you guys saw the last clip of, like the white one. We They didn't have enough of the denim one, the one that I showed. So what we ended up doing is the denim one had a little bit of stretch to it. My husband, my husband is going to be able to stretch it, like the width is fine. But they didn't have any more of that fabric, so we bought another white one. It was like a little bit cheaper per yard and brought it to my, mom house, my mom's house. We ended up cutting it in half. So like a long piece of fabric, we cut it in half, took one piece, put it on top of the other, my mom hemmed it, and then we're gonna cut it this way. I don't know if that makes sense. It's kinda like hard to do because I'm holding the camera, but. So let's say this is the queen bed, the fabric, the white one, the second one we bought, it wasn't wide enough. It only went up to like right here. So we bought like a long strip. We cut it in half right here, placed one on top of the other, and my mom hemmed it right here. And then we're just gonna cut it down the middle. So that way there's enough for the two the two bunk beds. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody. I don't know if anybody even really cares. But our light came in today, the island light. We already have one light above the sofas that we found at Lowe's. So I'm gonna go in the RV right now and show you guys what is going on there. So these are the lights right here above the couch. We have it covered here obviously because as you can tell, it is a white couch. We have three kids. They love spending time in here. We got a TV. It's inevitable that it's gonna get dirty and I do wanna buy like cushion covers, but for now, since we're still kinda like doing dirty work in here, we just put like a bed sheet over it to keep it a little bit clean. But these are the two light bulbs, or the two light fixtures we already have up. And I, I don't know if I mentioned it, we got it from Lowe's or Home Depot, one of the two. And then we got like 12 volt batteries, uh, batteries, <laughs> my goodness, my brain today. 12 volt light bulbs. If I'm not mistaken, off of Amazon, there was like a pack of four. And then today we're gonna be hanging up the light that goes right here. So I got something similar. It's a bit different color tone. Like these are more like a vintage gold, but the light off Amazon is kind of like a, a bit of a lighter gold. You can see like a champagne gold. And already I can see there's like some scratches on here. Yeah, it's more champagne. -y. Huh? We have like three different colors of gold in here, but it's okay. What do you want to do? I didn't realize you're gonna choose this color. We repainted the handles. Yeah, the it's, it's brown. Okay. You can't have it right up here. You gotta have it hanging. But what I'm trying to say is, when you're when you're 
pulling this, it's gonna be rocking. What? That's already chipping. It is what it is. You give us paper, unless you want to pay like five hundred dollars for something. Wait, how much you pay for this? It's like two hundred something. Oh, it's not worth. See that the RV door is open. Maybe Red Zim is in there. Or even oh, you're doing the. Uh, you're stapling it? I think our first trip that we're gonna take, we're not gonna have a table. Next we're, year. <laughs> next year. Because we're going next week. Pretty much, if we can find a place. And so I might just bring the bench from our bedroom and put it right there and just, I don't know, do like a folding table for now. It's not a big deal. I'm sure most RV places have like picnic tables anyway. We're making such a big deal out of it. I just wanna, I just wanna take a vacation. I'm on vacation. Whew, I feel like that was a whole workout. Just trying to put this in. We still have to put the bottom one in. Got the top one in. This is the bottom base here. This one was obviously already. This one was from the top, right? So this That's originally the was the top yeah. one. And on the bottom, they had the two seats that kind of became like a futon, like these leather seats, that chairs, whatever, benches. Then they became a futon. So we took that both of those off, and my husband built his own. Yeah, because that frame. one, if you sit on that middle edge, it has too many, it's too much, not much support. Yeah, so, so if you the, ever have an adult sleep in there, I, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, so he built his own and then covered it in fabric, and we had to staple it because we used one fabric on one side, one on the other. We went with white, such a great option, I know. <laughs> but because they're going to be lifted high, this is what you're going to see. Like previously, they had black fabric. Made the room look dark. And made, yeah, it's basically like a black ceiling once you lift it up you're gonna see black underneath so kind of diy our own and yeah, i can't believe I it's finally done yeah really but that's good. no that's two sides that are stapled so yeah that's the defense. bottom fabric and then that's the top fabric you can kind of see the frame a little bit peeking through we're about to head out to the store buy some i'm gonna look at some backsplash tile for the rv uh just see if my headboard is gonna be able to pick up just We'll see. We'll see. Well, that was a total epic fail. My husband said that they had like mother of pearl tile, which this does look like it a little bit, but it has silver in it, and we're like getting rid of all the silver, so that's a no go. And they don't have any other options. So I mean, the one you bought is looks like it's spray painted. It so does. We're looking for like a brushed well finish, or pick you could just any pick anyone and spray paint it. Yourself. Yeah, but they don't really have that many options. I mean, that one's actually not bad, but you hate chains. You said no chains because it's gonna, on an RV, everything is swinging. Well, I mean, if you do so a chain, like, you do a short chain. You don't do like a... It's like Lowe's has better lights than... I mean, these are cute. They're not bad. But I do feel like Lowe's probably has better options. Um, I did want to share about these blankets here. So as you, um, obviously, they're, they're, you're probably wondering why it's on the floor in the sun. My kids are like charging them. They are, they are glow-in-the-dark kids blankets. So these were sent to me by Lilith at Home on Amazon. I will link them down below and add them to my storefront. They are glow-in-the-dark blankets for kids, you guys. It's so exciting. I didn't even know that this was like a thing. My daughter has the butterfly pattern one. There's like unicorns, uh, constellations. There's this one. My son loves like anything space. And it glows in the dark. So this is what it looks like obviously in the daytime. It's like a really fuzzy, warm blanket, even just to use just like that. You can take it on car rides. And then once you charge it, I'll charge it. And once you put it in the sunlight for like, how, I think it said like 20, 30 minutes, 15, 20 minutes. I don't remember exactly. I'll tell you on a little pamphlet. And then you, at nighttime, turn off the light and they'll glow in the dark. So I'll show you guys at nighttime what it looks like. And then this is my daughter's. It's like this, they're so cozy and so soft, you guys. But my kids are really excited about them. And this one is super pretty for like a girl. It's like this lilac purple with butterflies everywhere. She actually has butterflies in her room. So this fits the theme perfectly. So thank you to the Lithic Home for sending these over. They're so cute. And then there's one in our bedroom. It's not glow in the dark, although low key. Kind of wish it was. Let me show you guys. So this is the one from, actually I have it inside out. The other one that they sent over and it is like a very breathable they have different kinds they have like bohemian ones and super super affordable i got this one for the rv because the headboard is going to be this color so i plan to put it on the bed in, our, in the rv it's going to be like perfect to go across the mattress with like just a plain white quilt and then this will basically be the same exact color as the headboard and it's like a very breathable fabric but at the same time it's still really soft i just thought i would share with you guys for anybody that is interested i personally love the glow in the dark blankets i know that my kids do too i didn't even know that was a thing i know isn't it so pretty it just came 
This was the floor model, so they gave like a 25% off. My husband has a way with the words, but I mean, it's a pretty good match. So let's prop this, prop this guy up and see what he looks like. I think it's really cute. It's just enough on the sides. See, I feel like it's a perfect fit. I don't know. It's like the kind of like the same style as the couch, the tufted style. I like it. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments down below. What do you think? No. I like it. Yeah. This is the same rug from the kitchen. It doesn't. Last the little much area rug. Matter. It's kind of hard to see on camera, but it has like different color tones to it. It has like grays, almost like gold tones, and depending on where you're standing from, it's gonna have. Kind of like shifts colors, you know, like those cars that like shift color, but it has like that uh, what do you call these medallion type style on it, and it has like a Chanel feel, like that 3D type oh, look this, to it. This tool is I know that's how, you? no, it's not. I mean, when you're standing from here, I can't see a single thing, yeah, but then I know, but it's okay. Sure. He's talking about like the you see how like, you walk around, yeah, it's totally fine. It's very soft, really affordable. Just need another a rug pad under here, and it kind of like brings. Brings all the color tones to it. Average For 150 is kind of expensive. Usually, a like little expensive. You can go online and pick out whatever you want. I know, but I like this one, okay. and it's here. But anyway, come in here. I want to hear your opinion. It looks good. Yeah, it looks better than that other dinky one. We were in the store, at home, arguing over this headboard because my husband wanted something. Talking. Talking. No, we were actually we were basically arguing the lady standing there like um he wanted something that would kind of go all the way to the edge. They I don't know, do they I don't think they even make headboards like that because a typical queen is 62 inches, which is this right here. That's like Eloise, but he had no idea. He thought that it would look weird because like the bedding would stick out from the side. So we left the store without with me knowing that we were gonna come back and buy it. So I left, we left on two separate cars and he ended up buying it. So let me hear it. You were right. I was You're right. right. It always looks right. <laughs> always, obviously. It looks fantastic. Oh, no. He's building the frame, even though I, I told him not to, because the, I think we already showed that it has a frame from the top bunk, but he doesn't trust the weight distribution of it, the no, way that they it, built it. It sags like two, it, three inches. It does, but I'm like, you, you could have been doing so many other things while. I don't even know if you're like allowed to have built. two adults sleep on it, but if they ever do, I mean, they're going to be nervous the whole night, I think. You're doing it for like that one one case scenario, one in a million years, just you in case know. two adults sleep on it. I wanted to ask you, so this is the curtain rod. It is that champagne color, but it matches the handles. It's actually the exact same color as the light we want to return, which we might keep. Why don't we just keep it? Oh, see you. I just, it's too big. It's going to swing around. The only issue with that light is that when you're opening this, it might be kind of hit it but we haven't really checked to see and we already packed it up to return it but this is the curtain rod right here it is that shame camp champagne color i just wanted to order one and the reason i chose this one is because this brand specifically makes smaller uh curtain rods for like 18 inch type windows and obviously i want all the curtain rods to match so this is the one that i chose this might work because it's might, not too long. Like you might be able to hide the blackout shades. Oh, and another thing is that we are gonna we kept the shades. You know how they had the two layer shades. They have a blackout and then they have kind of like a net type shade for the RVs. The one that actually came with the RV. We took off the valances, got rid of those, but the valances hid the shade, like the the brackets here. So, so we're trying to figure out what is the best way. See. Yeah, well, your kitchen is so messy. No, can you believe it? I have this. Wow. This husband that just it's unbelievably open messy. This open this. Just in case we have to return it. If we don't like it, are you ready? Yep. Are you ready? I'm, I'm ready. This. I've been asking you for a month to pick out what you want. I know, I just couldn't find figure it out. Okay, you ready? So this is my Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. Yep. So I purchased this off of Amazon. This is peel and stick tile, but this one it has an actual shell of the mother of pearl. So in our kitchen, we have mother of pearl tile in our actual house, like our kitchen, like our actual kitchen. <laughs> and I love it so much, but they have different kinds. They have, I think this is natural. They have a white, more of a whiter one. And they have like a colorful one, but I think this looks beautiful because this kind of has a little bit of grays in it, a little bit of the browns. It's not like too overwhelming. It's kind of like, I don't know. Do you like it? What do you think? No, I, I like I like it. I'm just, Let me just what? looking at the two here. What do you mean? 
Well, countertop, mainly. Oh, trying to see if... Mm -hmm. Here, let me see if I can... Like, you were just planning to do this wall, right? Yes, I'm just going to do this wall. I don't think I'm going to do that. That's going to be, first of all, such a pain. Can you imagine? No, that's no problem for me. Don't well, worry. I don't know. But let me put some of them up. I don't know. I really like it. It's Our light is going to come in tomorrow. And I think that's kind of... Good. Well, you kind of wanted something that doesn't pop out too much. I wanted something that didn't pop out too much, but we tried, like, the white. I was looking at a white Honey, one. Honey, your, your kitchen's embarrassing. I got to come in a little bit more. Oh, please. That's pretty bad. Yeah. This there is you. all you. This is literally all you. I know, this is... Uh, that's our goal for today. Our goal for today get is... Get all the to, tools out of here. I don't need them anymore. Are, so. Oh, by the way, my husband built this rail here. This is going to be for their bunk beds um, over there, so... Did you kind, try, like, it's kind of heavy. You want me to try bringing it up? Yeah. yeah. It's kind of heavy. I work out three <laughs> days a week, okay? I live to wait. <laughs> Watch me like, accidentally break something, but I have such butter fingers. It is a little bit heavy, actually. Here, why don't we switch yeah, you, so that you can hold it up? Hold that. And he's going to go grab some paint, kind of like paint the paint over it a little bit, some spray paint, but. Essentially, that's going to be the rail for the top bunk. The bottom bunk, you don't need any rails because it's so going to literally hit the floor. Is going to go like... We purchased a mattress, by the way. That's going to come in tomorrow as well. I'm telling you, we like purchased everything we're last really last minute. Right down here somewhere, so. Yeah, we did six inch, right? Yeah. Yeah. We have the lighter on this side. Yeah. No. It's only going to go out to like right here and then it's like always in the way of that door. I thought, yeah. for some reason, I thought the bunk beds ended here, but they don't. So I would probably put... Well, let's see. Let me lift... Let's do like a faux... Well, I'm going to lift this and then I'll drop again. It's going to be for the top bunk only. Yeah, so it's going to go out to like open this thing, this door open. Again, excuse me. I think we're going to put it right here. The ladder is going to go on that side. Oh, that's so... I will not fall yeah, off. so that you don't fall off. Yeah, but yeah, sorry. I can get off so easy. Careful, son. I can't get off yeah, so Yeah, this one is going to be all the way at the bottom, so we don't need a rail for that. It'll be fine. I'm thinking you were made for me It's not in my birthday yet Cause I gotta say You're looking like a gift for me Wrapped up nice and neat, baby Moment of truth, actually. I measured it out. I should have had half an inch, but... Oh, you're going to raise it up? From the ceiling, yeah. You scared? No <laughs> way. <laughs> it's like the gas pump you're trying to get to 10. That's oh, that's it. You made it. I think you have like an inch left. Yeah. Here, let me show me. Perfect. Yeah, that's about an inch to work with. Yeah, that's good. Our stuff came in today. The mattress is from the brand Tuft & Needle, which is actually a really good brand on Amazon. Uh, but we got like a six inch foam mattress. We this, just decided This is actually foam. for the top. Yes, but... and for the bottom we're gonna do a thicker one, but we're gonna use it for the bottom because our trip is literally two days away and we're just, we ain't ready. We are not ready. Who's that, is that their cat or do they have a dog, another dog? Uh, I think they're old dog. Oh, yeah, look. <gasps> the brown one? Yeah, it was like, Pretty old. You think so? Yeah. He told you? Yeah, it was a while ago. Oh no. That's so sad. It's like we know all this stuff about our neighbors. They know nothing about us. Yeah. I gotta do it in the back. Or so you think they don't know anything. <laughs> They're probably watching these vlogs. The sun knows everything about us. We see you, John. We know who you are. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, that's cool. I don't know if you guys can see it expanding. On that side. It just expanded real quick. Oh. <laughs> I thought it was gonna be like a whole process. Part of the reviews people complained about is Yes, like, I've seen mattresses where they remained like a pancake. This one it honestly seems like it's already at its fullest. And it has a nice firmness to it just from first impression. It's Let's probably see. fully inflated already. Actually, yeah. Let me sit on it just to see. I can't sit up with the. No, it could go high. You can lift it up. This. Wow, you're like smooshing it up. It goes all the way to the bottom. I just. Oh, yeah. No, this is comfortable. There you it's go. good. I mean, for what? It was like 200 bucks? 200 something dollars? Not bad. It was one of the better 
foam mattress review. Plus, Stuff to Needle is a pretty decent brand. So, mattress. So this is a six inch. We'll probably get like an eight inch or a ten inch for the down one. Yeah, this one technically is going to go on the top. The but we're going to use it for the bottom now because we don't have a ladder ready or, you know, things like that. So, mattress done. Next is the light. This is the light. It is uh, actually like the color. It's not champagne. It's just a very nice gold. So, it's a chandelier, believe it or not. So, let's give it a try. And it comes with the globes. And as soon as I saw it, I thought the globes would match perfectly with what we have going on above the sofa here. Well, my husband installed the light. <laughs> the bulbs are a little bit too tall, which sucks because I don't think it's gonna, new bulbs are gonna come in in time for Amazon Prime. And we got, I got eight bulbs for no reason. We'll turn on the light. I just wanna see what it's gonna look like. Cause otherwise, I think it's cute. It kind of gives that homey vibe. I'm glad we went with this one. We searched, we looked at a few. I'm glad we returned that one because this one looks much better. It doesn't feel like an RV. These. Yeah, it looks very homey. So we found these that are 2.28 inches. They're not that cute, but they're gonna come in tomorrow, hopefully. You think they'll be fine? Yeah. Because otherwise it's such a cute light. We'll see, we'll order those and then we'll see. 